my journey started in I mean last December. So first I was you know they told me I have I had pneumonia because my mom was so strong. That's why when when they told me I mean I was diagnosed with cancer. I mean it was not a big shock. I took it in a calm and composed way. So <laughs> all thanks to my mom for giving the you know core strength and she always made sure that my base. is uh, full positivity 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 we got referred from kmc uh, manipal to manipal hospital bangalore and when we came here uh, we first met uh, dr satyanand mysore for uh, because uh, we suspected you know he had a high diabetic cyst and then finally when we got the biopsy done and uh, i think through the whole process of this uh, dr satya uh, told us that you know he would Uh, get Dr. Amit on board from the oncology department uh, because uh, to kind of evaluate at the same time, and I think that was our first interaction with Dr. Amit Rathan, and I think I can say that it's just been uh, so um, helpful. At the same time, I mean, he's never made us feel that you know this is uh, something very. Uh, grave the way he spoke to us is what i would i still remember and uh, he was very composed and he when he told us that this is it, it's he has a very rare form of uh, cancer and uh, which normally uh, comes to a child and probably a young adult and it's one of the very rarest form he's always been very confident and he's always given us a good affirmation saying that this would be a treat, flow of treatment and you know uh, we'll hope for like the best results and uh, and since you know we have uh, age in hand you know the body works differently and uh, so that is how i think you know he's always you know brought in confidence into both uh, anirudh and i and you know he has always been that person he's always been very positive in front of like whenever we interacted with him we there was this never i've never sensed um concern and i think that is very important this i felt has always assured us that you know we are doing the right thing and we have the right we are in the right hand i think during this time especially with the pandemic um, you know ongoing pandemic it's been uh, really difficult we had concerns but i think the hospital is taking enough care uh, to make sure that we don't have we don't have to face uh, any issues especially you know try, fr- rather from the get go itself as soon as we enter you know it's been uh, like very smooth they've taken enough precautionary measures to make us and the patient feel very safe we met the counselor shada a couple of times Uh, during our daycare sessions, it's been it's been very helpful. I mean, you know, every time she come, I think it's 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 more like you know we we have we've always had like a friend who come over uh, to see if he uh, is doing okay. In the beginning it was tough, like you know, to uh, stay positive and stuff. Uh, but I was ne- I made sure that I'm not consumed by all those negative thoughts, and I made sure that you know every day I start enjoying it in my. So I love films, and you know I'm studying film study. So what I did in this journey is like I, I'm trying to watch all the movies possible, and you know, and I'm I'm trying to make sure that once I'm out of this, I take my camera and I'll just go out shooting, shooting stuff with my friends, and I I so basically that is a motivation. If you can survive cancer. and i think so you basically can do anything this journey taught me that you know just be patient stay focused and be happy this is also a journey where i want like you know at the end of this i want my mom to be proud that you know she has given birth to a fighter